Hello friends, welcome to my YouTube channel CapTech Pro. In this video, we'll see how to create channels in Microsoft Teams. So guys, without any delay, let's get started. So friends, let's understand first what is channels in Microsoft Teams. So channels in Microsoft Teams are conversation that you have with your team members. Channels guide users through their conversations and allow to focus discussions. Channels also structure your workplace by separating not only conversations but also information stored in files, tabs and applications. Every team start with a general channel. Use channel as a name implies to discuss general topics related to the team's purpose. For every other topic, create a new channel. It's efficient way to bundle all related content into the location. Currently there is a limit of 200 channels per team including deleted channels. You can always delete a channel if you see that it's really being used in which cases. The conversation will be deleted but the document shared within the channels will still be stored within the modern SharePoint team site. So guys, now let's move further and let's discuss the key features of Microsoft team channels. So the first key feature is general channel. Second is channel moderation. Then we have a private channels, shared channels, channel meetings and last we have a connector. So friends now let's move to our lab environment and let's see what are these key features and let's see how we can create channels. Okay friends so now we are on our Microsoft Teams. In previous video I have shown you how to create teams in Microsoft Teams. So in previous video we have created this team with the name of project and CapTech Pro was created by default. Right. So now to create the channel we'll click over here and you can see it will give you a following options like you can hide this team or you can manage this team you can add channel add members leave this team add a team so let's see these all things one by one like if i will click on manage team you can see the owner and you can see the member and guest and still you can add members to your team in the pending request if you have sent the invitation it will be shown over here now let's go to channels so as you can see we have only one channel by default with the name of journal. So the type of this channel is standard, right? We can create a standard and a private channel both and we don't have any deleted channel. Now in the settings, you can see you can add the team picture. You can manage the permissions, guest permissions. So in the mentions, choose who can use at the red team and at the red channel mentions in the team code. You can share the code so people can join team directly. In the fun stuff, you can allow emojis, memes, GIFs or stickers. So if I will click over, if you don't want, you can uncheck the box. So it will disappear from your team. In the tags, you can choose who can manage the tags, right? So these are the following settings which you can modify according to your requirement. In the analytics, you can see the summary engagements and no one is the active user and the inactive channels, right? So you can see the analytics from here in the apps. Apps let you the complete the task, receive updates and communicate at the same time. To get started, add the red mention a bot or add a tab in a team channel, right? So you can do it from here. In the tags, as of now you can see there is no tag our team has. So these are the settings which you can do by clicking on manage team. Now to add channel, so let me expand the project first. You can see the journal. This channel is created by default. So let's create one more channel by clicking on three dots. And now we'll click on add channels. So first of all, we have to give the name to our channel. So I have given the name to the channel, which is month end meeting. And now you can enter the description after entering the description. Now there is an option of privacy, like you can select the standard and from the drop down menu, you can select the private. So these are the two privacy options for the channels. If you will select standard, it will be accessible to every one of the team. And if you will select the private, it will be only accessible for the specific group of people within a team. So we'll go with standard. And now there is a checkbox like automatically show this channel to everyone in the channel list. So we'll select this box because we want this channel to show in everyone list. And now we'll click on add. So it is adding our channel and you can see our channel is now added. So now if I will click on this three dots, so you can see the first op option is channel notifications. So you can select like you want all activity notifications like it will cover the post replies and mentions or if you don't want you can off this and there is another option like you can customize your notification like you only want 
a post notification then you can customize your settings or if you want only replies to be active so you can simply just customize the settings now there is an option if you have a multi multiple number of channels you can pin that channel so let me show you if i will pin this so it will be automatically in upward and it is now pinned so you can also unpin the if the meeting has successfully happened so you can simply just unpin this channel so you can see it is now back to our original location now again click on this three dot you can see you, we can also hide this channel so let's now manage this channel so you can see the permissions like there is a moderation preferences so basically what is channel moderation is like the team owners can control who makes a new post replies to post in a channel by setting up a moderation they can also assign other team members to be in the channel moderators this can be practical for the sharing announcement important information you may want to create a dedicated channels for that let's call it a month end meeting right and set up a moderation preferences to restrict replies in this scenario the team owner add a specific team members as a moderator so that only they could post announcements none other than will not be able to post it so you can see in the channel moderation we can select on or off and who can start a new post so you can select the radio button if you want everyone can start a new post or you can select the radio button if you want everyone except the guest can start a new post in the analytics same as i have told you you can see the visitors the engagements who has visited to this specific channel right so now let's again click on this three dot button and now click on get a email address so if you will click over here so you can get the email address and you can copy it and then send it to another person you can close this as of now click over here to get a link of this channel right if you will select this channel you will you can send this link to any person whom you want to join this channel right so we'll click on cancel now the next is edit this channel if you want to add to this channel simply click over here you can still change the channel name but according to me it is not recommended to change this channel because in some applications like if i have talk about sharepoint if you will edit the channel name so the initially when you created the channel the name will be same like right now the channel name is month end meeting so if i will modify it and give it a name like only meeting so in few apps like the sharepoint if we have linked the sharepoint with this channel you will get this initial name like month end meeting it will not show you the new modified name so it is not recommended to change the channel name so you can see you can change the description and you can also select if you automatically don't want to show this channel to everyone so i will click on cancel now let's cover few more things like these are the connectors so guys let's discuss connectors now like you may want to configure connectors for specific channels in your teams connectors keep your team informed by delivering content and service update directly into the channel for example you have received updates from such popular connectors such as google analytics github trello rss and the list goes on right so you can see these are the all connectors app so you can add them by clicking on add we'll discuss connectors in detail later on so let me close it as of now and the last option is you can delete this channel so if you will delete it will come into the list of deleted channels now let's discuss few more things after creating the channels you can start your month end meeting channel like you can if you will click on post you can start a new conversation let's click over here so you can mention anyone like if i'll enter at the rate you can mention jack and james which are the part of this team so you can select their name and you can write anything if you want jack right so you can start the conversation now the second is files so you can share the files you can add a new file you can upload it you can sync it you can copy the link of the file you can download it there is one more important feature like you can add a cloud storage so if you want click over here so you can add a cloud storage like you can add the dropbox sharepoint box so these are the following storage option you, you can use any one of the storage option everyone with the permission to the original folder will be able to access these storages in teams so let's close it as of now you can select open in the sharepoint so after all this now we'll click on wiki and if you want few more tabs you can simply click on add a tab and you can select any tab of like there are lots of apps over here you can select any one of them according to your convenience now let me close it you can click on this three dot button to open in a desktop app copy a link to a tab or you can read about this tab as well you can start the meeting now or you can schedule a meeting as well 
so friends as i have created the channel as a standard channel you can also create a channel like the private channel which will be only accessible to a group of people so friends we have already created a standard channel in couple of previous steps now if i will talk about the private channel what is the benefit of private channels like private channels are focused spaces for collaboration within your teams only team owners and members of the private channel can see and participate in them anyone including the guest users can be a member of the private channels given that they are already members of your team if you know that your team members will be the part of the channel you can create a private channel and if the few members are the guest then it is not recommended to create a private channel in the microsoft teams construction site template with the private channels you want to use a private channels to limit collaboration only to a certain group of people without having create a separate team for example if you have a team dedicated to a specific project and you wish to discuss its budget you can create a dedicated private channel that will include only the project manager accountants and the customer so this is the benefit of creating the private channel so it's quite simple to create it you can simply click on private and then you can give the channel name and you can simply click on next to create the private channel so friends by this way you can create channels in teams so that's it for this video demonstration I hope you guys have understood what channels basically are. For more informative videos, you can check my other video links on the screen and subscribe my channel and press bell icon for more upcoming videos. I will see you guys in next video.